Ms. McKay, are you ready with the stream? Thank you. All right, we will uh, be back in session then and continue on now to item number 11, the city manager's report. Nothing unusual to report. Thank you. Any questions or comments from council? All right, we'll move to item number 12, our final public comment period. Public comment during this period may be on any issue. Each speaker has up to five minutes to speak. And as always, we do ask people to be concise and considerate. Anyone wishing to speak in the final public comment period? Please come forward and state your name. Once again, for the record, uh, Roger Tobler. Uh, you know, I really, I, I, I don't want to get up here and throw out all sorts of, you know, statements against this council. I, I hope you, wish you success. I really do. This town needs it. Councilman Bridges, thank you. You're, you're willing to stand up and, and take it and, and speak honestly. You know, I, I sat in meetings for 12 years. I've had people attack her. I've been in meetings with uh, Lou Crum for 12 years, and I've never seen her act the way you guys act, uh, said she act. You all played the exact same victim card tonight, which I find really interesting. Same story, same type of demeanor, everything. Uh, you guys are following. You're putting your faith in the wrong person. Now, with saying that, once again, I wish you success. There will be changes coming up, and, I, and, and I'm excited for that. And, and once again, Councilman Bridges, thank you. You know, well, you guys have some big issues coming up, and you just took away one of the most important positions. Uh, you know, if I was either of you two, I would be careful. Start demanding evaluations. You guys held nothing to them to, to help change their course of action. If you really felt that way, Councilman Adams, why didn't you say something to her? And why didn't you tell the mayor, hey, you know what, maybe we ought to hold Mr. an Tobler, evaluation. Mr. Yes. Tobler, please direct your comments to the council as a whole and not okay. the individual. I will say all the council, and you haven't started my five minutes, but I know I've been going a little while. All to council. You should have gone to the mayor and, and requested that. I had council members do that with me. They came to me and they said, hey, we need to hold an evaluation. Whether I agreed with them or not, we held it. And that was the fair way to go with people. This is not the fair way, the way you did it tonight. You're going to find out people are going to be disappointed. And it's not just a few hundred and and you know what it's you know you guys are here to serve i believe that's your intent uh, you need to figure out a better process definitely a better process we're disappointed and and once again with the election i have no idea what you guys are going to do with that but good luck thank you anyone else in council chambers please come forward Vicki Mays from Boulder City. You know, what you guys don't know about me is that because I've grown up at City Hall and city government, my entire life has been dedicated to supporting people like you. Never in my 37 years of serving in any of the positions that I've held in local government have I ever once spoken against a city council member. And yet, I'm here today to say, you know what? I'm not surprised with this action you've taken. Um, I was never optimistic that anything that we could say as a member of the public this evening could change your minds because the agenda item was written like a foregone conclusion. There was never any room to call for an evaluation or set some goals. It was strictly went to termination. So, you were pretty transparent 
in what your motives and actions were going to be. You've done a great disservice to this city by firing all three city officials within just a few months. Um, the loss of corporate knowledge is just more than you can imagine. And on top of that, I know for a fact that there's been other employee resignations because of your behaviors. And I know that there's department heads that are looking for jobs right now, and probably many others. I also talked to rank and file employees, and I gotta tell you, they're scared. Because they, they see that if a top official makes a single mistake, that they can be terminated instantly, what does that mean for them? So you've destroyed and put in a tremor down the basic fabric of this organization. Um, it makes me sad because I feel like it's been torn down by a vindictive, retaliatory city council, with the exception of you, Councilman Bridges. I'm really not speaking to you. But one thing that I have learned by working for this city for 20 years is, you know what? You're not gonna fool anybody. These taxpayers and citizens are so smart, and they're kind of like the sleeping bear in hibernation. When um, everything's going good, you never hear from them. But I'm gonna tell you, you've poked the bear. You've wakened the sleeping giant. And when voters go to the, vote, to the polls this spring, they're gonna express their dissatisfaction with the city council. You don't even know what you don't know. Thank you. I don't see anyone else in council chambers, uh, so we will go to the phone. If there is anyone wishing to speak in the final public comment period, the phone line is now available. The number is 702-589-9629. Public comment. Yes, I would like to speak in public comment, please. Go ahead. Hi, this is Judy DeShane, and I am not pro or con anything, but I would, would suggest why not set a policy that whenever a majority of the city council changes, that after two to three months, that they ask all the four appointed, or at least the three appointed that we mostly interact with, to resign, and then the council can either reappoint them if they choose to want to stay, like they do in the federal government, state governments, and things like that. That would alleviate having this, these kinds of discussions. And in the corporate world, this is not an unusual thing that when new management comes in, a lot of heads roll, and you really have to keep your head down and work under whatever circumstances the new guys want. So I think this is not necessarily as horrendous as everybody says, but I do would like to see something that whenever a majority of council changes, they do ask those three positions to submit their resignation and reapply, and the council evaluated at that time. Thank you. Thank you. The phone line is available. Anyone wishing to speak in the final public comment period? The phone number is 702-589-9629.
Public comment. Yes, I have public comment. Okay, state your name and go ahead. Yes, for the record, it's Fred Voltz, and I would like to congratulate the majority of the council for taking the action they did tonight regarding the city clerk. Uh, I don't believe the public had any idea the gravity or the extent of the failure to perform by that person. And uh, this has been a great help for the community, and hopefully we can move forward. Thank you. Thank you. The phone line is available. The number is 702-589-9629 for anyone wishing to speak in the final public comment period. Again, if there is anyone wishing to speak in the final public comment period, the phone number is 702-589-9629. Public comment. Yes, this is Tyson Smith, uh, owner of Boulder City Family Mortuary. I just want to comment on the vote for Blue today. I am very disappointed in a lot of the things that were said, accusations that were made. First from the mayor, uh, first we had a conversation with him. He was offended that, as a member of the planning committee, that they didn't listen to, to people. Yet he told me that he doesn't care about what the planning committee says or any committee says. Historical, it's all based on his knowledge and what he thinks is right and doesn't rely on the experts around him. I think we've seen that a number of times with the way he treated the city attorney just last week. The other thing I want to comment on is I was on the agenda for the meeting that was messed up. And as a business owner, you never blame the people below you. I found a very low class when they called me to tell me that the meeting had been canceled and blamed it on Ulu. I thought, that is really kind of a low way to go about it. You could just say that it, that it was a mistake on the agenda, that the phone number was not put on there, and I left it at that, but it seemed like they had to mudsling her to everybody that was that they called. And I just felt that that was poor leadership. But I think we're seeing that from our current council, poor leadership. And I sure hope you can get your stuff together uh, and you can move forward. And I sure hope you can find some some workers to come in and work with you. I pray for the city. Thank you. Thank you. The phone line is available for our fu final public comment period. The phone number is 702 589 9629. Public comment? I guess. I'd like to make a public comment. Okay, state your name and go ahead. 
My name is Christopher Levitt. I just want to say that um, all of the people that have been talked about this evening by the various council members, I know personally, and I think that there has been a serious character assassination on many accounts. And I just, I wish that we could start to just be honest and look at people for who they are and not what everybody says they are. Thank you. Thank you. Again, this is our final public comment period. Anyone wishing to speak may call 702-589-9629. Yes, I'd like to make a public uh, comment. Okay, state your name and go ahead. My name is Lori Van Deest. I thought that the uh, mayor was supposed to protect his employees, not get rid of all of them. Who knows? Maybe Lou, with everybody that backed her up, will run for mayor. Thank you. Thank you. The phone line is available. The number is Uh, yes, my name is Glenn Fain. I'd like to make a quick comment. Okay. A lot of people are, express a lot of concern about Lorena being let go. I mean, it's, it's sad when anybody loses a job. That's neither here nor there. But I would hope that the city would always have a plan in place for the, in case anybody you know, were to get sick or have a you know, tremendous health issue where they could not you know, perform their job, um, you know, that the city would be you know, able to handle a situation like that. I mean, you know, um, it's, it's a terrible thing, a decision had to be made, whether it's right or wrong, I'm not going to go down that road. But I, I'm hoping that the city has plans to fill spots just in case something happens to somebody, whether it be they get fired or something like that, they quit, get sick, any number of things can happen. I would hope that the city is always prepared just in case. Thank you. Thank you. This is our final public comment period. The phone line is available. The number is 702-589-9629.
Again, this is the final public comment period. The phone number is 702-589-9629, and the line is available. Hearing no others, uh, we will close the final public comment period then and move to our last item, City Council reports. Uh, Council Member Adams? I have nothing to report at this time, Mayor. Thank you. Council Member Bridges? No report at this time. Council Member Hoskins? No report at this time. Council Member Folded? Thank you, Mayor. Um, sitting next week on March 1st, um, the elementary schools in Boulder City will we start with our hybrid um, education, um, where they have um, some in-school participation um, for our elementary schools. So what this means for the city is that um, the speed limits will be reinforced for um, school zone in those areas, and the food distribution site has been moved from the elementary school to the high school, and will be available still Monday through Friday for anyone seeking food services. Thank you. Um, again, the, this year of the pandemic has been difficult in very many ways. Uh, certainly this was a difficult meeting this evening. Uh, we will continue on. Uh, with that, we are adjourned. Thank you.